Hello everybody! I thought I would do something different and uh, make a quick video about the stuff that I picked up at Trader Joe's today so you could get an idea of um, kind of what I grab when I go. Uh, my groceries from there differ every single time I go but I do get a lot of the same staples and usually I find different little unique things um, every time I'm there so I figured I would share with you guys and you can see what I have. So, um, I got two huge bags of stuff. This is what I love about Trader Joe's. Two enormous bags of stuff. Like this one is so heavy um, for like 50 bucks. And it's really nice, you know, quality stuff. I like Trader Joe's. Um, their brand is non-GMO. So anything Trader Joe's branded is non-GMO, which I think is awesome. Um, so that's why I love Trader Joe's. So, let's dig in. So one of the things that I always, always get when I go is this butter lettuce. Um, I like the butter lettuce, I like the texture of it, um, and it's always nice and fresh because it's Trader Joe's and they have fresh stuff. Um, so I got two bags of that for when I have salads. I got some bananas, which is normal staple, not Trader Joe's specific. Bananas, I got, this is um, freeze dried jackfruit. I don't know if anybody knows what jackfruit is, but my friend from Jamaica introduced me to jackfruit um, a few years back. Fresh jackfruit. Now it's hard to find, like honestly it is so hard to find, but it's really really good. It's almost got the taste of a pineapple kind of, um, but it's different. Um, it's got a different texture than a pineapple too when it's fresh. But this is freeze dried jackfruit. Um, it has nothing added in terms of sugar, which is awesome. It's just the straight jackfruit um, and I think they put a little bit of oil in it um, just to keep it crispy I guess I don't know they do put it's um rice bran oil so um, but yeah all of the sugar in it is just naturally occurring in the jackfruit so that's cool I got some pomegranate arils these are actually great in salads if you throw them on top of a salad um, or I like to mix them up in like quinoa it's got a nice like tart taste to it and pomegranates y'all are so good for you. So if you can get some pomegranates, get some pomegranates. You can buy pomegranates and take the arils out yourself. It's cheaper. Let me be honest, it's a pain. It's a pain. So I just buy the arils already done because I don't have time for that. Uh, got some strawberries, which by the way, strawberries are not in season right now. So they cost a fortune, but whatever, I like strawberries. I got some raspberries, which weren't too bad. I got um, frozen sweet cherries. These I get for my Shakeology because I like to make um, this recipe. It's basically got um, almond ex pure almond extract, cherries, and then my chocolate vegan Shakeology, and it is the bomb. I love it. That's why I get those for. Uh, I found this vanilla and cinnamon black tea. Again, Trader Joe's branded, so no GMO. Um, and I really, really like their the, uh, variety of teas. If you've never been into, or if you've been into a Trader Joe's and never looked at their tea section, check it out because they have amazing teas. And this one caught my eye because it's kind of like seasonal and I'm a tea freak, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I got yogurt cheese. So I tried this when our Trader Joe's first opened and I actually got a sneak tour because um, I worked across the street at the time. So the manager brought us over to get like an, a private tour before it opened. Um, and this is one of the things she pointed out. I've actually, really cut out dairy for the most part, like 90% of the time. But I do like to have, um, if I have like a, a tofurkey sandwich or something, I like to have the sliced cheese on there. And I really, really like the yogurt cheese. My body handles it a lot better than regular like processed sliced cheese. Um, this is, um, I mean, it's obviously gonna be a little bit processed too, but I just like the, I like the creaminess of it and my body handles it really well because my body doesn't handle like regular sliced cheese very well. It rejects it. Um, I got organic baby carrots cut and peeled for my hummus. That's usually my afternoon snack every day. I got um, two things of tofu. I like to get my tofu from Trader Joe's number one because it's GMO free like I said as long as it's their brand and I really like the texture of their tofu. Um, and it's organic, so there's several things that I like about their tofu. It's it's pretty inexpensive. The ones at Walmart are like $2.69, I think. These are $1.99 at Trader Joe's, so 
better quality for less cost. I'll take it. And then I got their almond milk. I'm partial to cashew milk, but they don't have it at Trader Joe's. Um, but again, this is their brand, so I know it's going to be good in terms of genetically modified organisms, which I do not want. Um, so grab some of that. I got some candy ginger. Now there's two kinds of candy ginger that you can get. The one of them is crystallized, which means it's topped with sugar. Uh, that's the one I used to get. And then I disciplined myself and I no longer get the crystallized kind. I get the uncrystallized kind. And this is like a nice little, if I want to just kind of curve a sweet tooth, it's got like this spicy sweet taste to it. And honestly, I need like two of these and it's a, just a nice little um, sweet to, to munch on just to kind of curve that. Um, and then I got, this bag is just cereal. I grabbed this, it's a special limited edition because it's seasonal. It's cranberry gingerbread granola. Now, of course, the tricky thing with granola is it's kind of marketed as a healthy food, which it's good for like energy source and stuff like that, but granola is super misleading. It's, it is cooked in oil, um, so you really have to portion granola. Don't eat granola out of the box. Don't take the box to the couch. Uh, what I like to do is I like to top my yogurt with like, you know, a few tablespoons of it just for some crunchiness. Um, and I figured this was going to be really good because I like cranberries. And it's gingerbread. I mean, come on, seasonal. So I had to get it. And then my hubby comes home in three days. So I had needed to make sure I had cereal in the house. Um, and so on occasion I'll eat cereal. I'm not a huge cereal. I used to be a huge cereal person. I'm not anymore. I'd rather do like egg whites and all, um, oatmeal in the morning. Um, uh, but every so often, you know, I'll, I'll grab a, a box of cereal. So what I got from Trader Joe's was this, um, vanilla almond clusters. And I get these brown, brown sugar shredded wheats. They're just basically like mini wheats, but they're brown sugar. Um, these are the kind of the stuff that he likes. So I try to keep, you know, hubby stuff in the house for cereal. Um, like I said, he, he eats it more than I do. Um, I kind of got on a cereal kick when I was off of work though, which probably contributes to some of those pounds I put on. Just saying. So be careful with your cereal. Eat it in moderation. I think a lot of people don't know that a serving size of cereal is usually like three quarters of a cup. If you were to measure three quarters of a cup and put it in a bowl, we usually pour, I would say easily two to three times that, if not more. So, you know, be cautious with cereals and granolas and stuff like that and really pay attention to the serving size because you can easily overdo it. Um, and it's really not super healthy. Like some are going to be healthier than others. You know, I like the shredded wheats because it is high in fiber. Um, even though this one is, you know, brown sugar, it's got some extra stuff that isn't necessarily the best. You could get like plain shredded wheat um, and it would be a lot better than something like this. But it's definitely better than, you know, Lucky Charms or one of those, which are so good. It's so bad for me though. So I just don't buy them because I'll eat them and I don't need them. So that's it. That's what I got. That's my haul. So like I said, all of that was 50 bucks. Um, and I'm talking stuff like the strawberries that are totally out of season and they were like five dollars freaking strawberries pomegranate arrows are always expensive because they're charging you for them doing the hard work because you can buy a pomegranate for cheap but they're a pain like i said so you pay more for just the arrows and then um the rest of it was pretty well priced trader joe's is awesome um, on price so if you have one near you if you haven't visited it yet i challenge you to visit it just scour the aisles and see what you find and um, be careful because Trader Joe's again is one of those things that's like marketed as healthy which they have a lot of health healthy options but Trader Joe's is really good for snacks too and they're not good snacks like chocolate covered whatever is usually in there so you know be careful don't just assume that everything in Trader Joe's is something you should bring home and nosh on on your couch because it's not so go check it out if you haven't been to one um, if you have been to a Trader Joe's <clears throat> Excuse me. Tell me in the comments what your favorite Trader Joe's um, item is. I'm curious to see what everybody's favorite items are because if I haven't tried it, then I'd like to try it as long as it's not meat. Y'all know me. I don't eat meat. Um, however, I have heard some of their like frozen chicken burgers and stuff are really good, but I haven't tried them. Um, but if you have a favorite food or item from Trader Joe's, comment below and tell me what it is because I'm curious to see what everybody's favorites are. And if you haven't been, go. Um, if you don't have one near you, 
I'm sorry, that sucks. Hopefully you'll get one soon. You can go to TraderJoe's.com and see the coming soons. That's why I found out one was coming to Tampa a couple years ago. Um, and see if one's coming near you. Or if you travel somewhere that has one, go in. Just check it out. It's super cool. And I think you can actually order some things online. So um, check out their website. They have their own cookbooks. They have a vegetarian Trader Joe's cookbook. They've got a non-vegetarian one. So obviously I rave about Trader Joe's. See, y'all think I just rave about Beachbody. I just rave about the stuff that I love and that works for me and makes my life happy. So, um, yeah, I just like to share, you know? It's like my favorite movie. I just share it or my favorite restaurant. I just want y'all to know about it. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this unpacking of the Trader Joe's bag. And um, tell me below what you go find or what you love. All right. Bye.